Morning. Welcome back. I'm Zorkland. It's the 6th of October, 2024. Right, so it doesn't look like we've got a lot of progress since the last time you've seen the video, but I've been doing lots of different things all around the allotment, mainly chickens. I have been getting harvest still. I'm still getting cabbages, I'm still getting broccoli, I'm still getting tomatoes, I'm still getting apples. Um, and I took some onions down yesterday. Me, our onion harvest was poor this year, and I love I love onions, as you know. But we took what we could because we neglected the allotment. But it is what it is. Now, since the last video, what I've done is I've now finished off those two new sheds we've built from the fence panels. I've now finished both of those. Both pens are sealed up with uh, the fence uh, re redone. And the sand and gravel in, I've put a waterproof porch on the front where I've put automatic timers in. I've put an automatic opening door that opens and closes. Um, and basically the porch over the front is just to stop the worst of the weather getting at it so it doesn't damage it because it's electronic. However, they're on the inside and they shouldn't have got damaged anyway, but that's just an extra precautionary. I've put a perch in from the fence to the shed in each of the two pens. I've sorted out the Swedish flowers that I'm keeping, which is a land race breed. It's not man developed, it's a natural wild species in uh, Sweden, I'm led to believe. It's a very rare breed. But what's really, to me, what's really beautiful about this breed is no two birds look the same. They do in stature and size, but every single bird is a different colour. There is no two identical birds. Uh, and that's what's appealing to me. The, there's a multitude of colour among this breed. Um, and it's a naturally created breed. Um, so I really, really like those. They're, all, they're very, very similar to a Legon in that they're a light breed. Um, they're apparently good layers. I obviously haven't seen seen they're not old enough they're not quite old enough to lay yet so I don't know what they're like in layability but they're supposed to be very good layers and they're not a large fowl and they're not a, a bantam they're a medium breed and they lay a fairly big egg for the size of bird I'm led to believe but either way I just like the breed and hence the reason I'm keeping them because of the multitude of colour then what I've done is I've moved over the uh, four leg owns that was with the old Rhode Island Reds into the second pen. We've got that one completely finished. That frees up their pen now so I can dismantle their shed and get the uh, sand and gravel down in the other shed. I've made a start round the back of here, clearing the ground here. I took a shed down from round here that wasn't suitable. I've emptied what used to be my feed store and I've converted that into the chicken shed and I've got some chicks in there at the moment with an automatic door which will go out into this big open area at the back round behind the shed. I've put a fence up to seal it off. Um, the area still needs tidied uh, before we can get to that stage and those chicks will need moving into another shed which I've cleaned the garage out <laughs> again and I'm in the middle of blow on the blow torch in the garage out again although it only had chicks in for a short while it's getting cleaned out and it's going to get blow torched yet again. It's been a horrendous year for red mite this year. Uh, but every one of the birds now have all had ivermectin on the back to kill internal and external parasites. And all of the sheds have been blowtorched and where applicable, new sheds erected. Going to have my cup of coffee, shut up babbling and then we'll show you around. Uh, we'll give you a little look around. So this is a shed that I built earlier in the year which I've dismantled now because I've had a change of plan and ideas. That's up on Marketplace, waiting to see if anyone wants that. This place is still a bonsai. We've dismantled other little coops. Tried to make this so it's all nice and easy for me this winter. I've just put this up yesterday. This is where this shed used to be, in here. Now, this here was all in here. So I've cleared all this area. This is where we bedded our two rescue two rescue dogs in here. 
planted a few trees etc and I'm going to use all of this when it's tidied and all of this which is in the process of being tidied this is where that shed was this fence and everything will be taken back down and that shed there at the back as you can see already has an automatic door in it so that's the shed that was my feed shed it's now converted to a chicken shed and they'll all come out of there when this is all finished and they'll have all of this and all through there and this is just going to be for my layers and this will just be a mixture of odds and sods they don't have to be anything in particular but there'll be a mix of Plymouth Rocks, um, hybrids, Leghorns, there'll be a mix of everything um, just as my layers um, so that's one job that we need to get um, finished off obviously it won't actually take too long once I get my mind put to it this pen here I had that big corrugated sheet there that was protruding and stopped me getting through with the wheelbarrow and I've taken that off because I've got some more new tin sheets now I had three birds in here we got rid of the cockerel and the two layers went in here so I have some more layers in here which are a mixed flock so in here I've now put some layers in here now we had the um, Isabella Isabella Walsamers in here they've now been sold and they in here we just have the she's about 10 years old now these high breaches the only one left out of them and then I've got a couple of Morans they're all tatty because they're going through the malt but one or two of them are still laying and I've actually just been and bought some of these Indian game fowl they're all pullets no cockerels just pullets again just as layers they're also a good brood as them so that's another reason why I bought them so that's that pen or shed all uh, being cleaned out burned out and redone and repurposed for these then we've got um, the sweetie flowers I was on about earlier as you can see this is brilliant this even though they've been digging it the ground is great it's it's firm it's solid lovely friendly breed these they're not skittish as you can see and every one's a single every different every one is a different color they all tend to be mottled but different colors um, there's no two alike so that's a cockerel and two pullets there there's five pullets in total and two cockerels are there's another cockerel just came out another pullet or two down here these are the white leghorns that we've moved and again the sheds are made identical they've got a perch in there to sit on if I want to sit outside they go in there automatic door built in great ventilation everything it's just way 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 better than anything I've ever had we'll give you a little look inside of the sheds inside of the shed you'll see we've got plastic roll away nest boxes to keep the eggs clean they've got the perch we've got a hanging feeder uh, the ventilation's right the skylight in the roof it's born dry absolutely brilliant job of made of these as I say these are quite a friendly breed of chicken as you can see they're not they're not skittish one of the cockles is a little bit there is two cockles in here but probably only one will be kept with the hens uh, I'm deciding which one to keep this is the automatic doors we've put in all on a timer as you can see and it's set for 8 in the morning to open and half past 7 to close at night I can manually close them if I so, so desire and I can also manually open them and irrespective of, me, irrespective of me doing that, that timer will stay unchanged and it will still operate at the correct times. Absolutely brilliant job. 
So, excellent. I'm a happy chappy. You can see they've just been having the cabbages. These are my spare cabbages. What I do is I take the head off, leave the leaves and the stalk, and then the, the hens get these. And uh, yeah, you can see they've made short work of theirs as well. But brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I've now got this one emptied over here. These birds were in that one over there. I can now get that shed down, uh, the pen tidied up, and then another one of these built. Exactly the same. And finish that one. Right, so that's pretty much a very, very quick update with where I'm at. Not too much more to show you, unfortunately. Uh, when we get some more progress, we will get that sorted. I will actually show you that I'm still getting some harvest soon. Probably the next video. Um, I might work next week and then I'm taking a week off just to get finished off for winter. Um, we'll probably do some more harvests of the cabbage and anything else that we can get. <laughs> a bit late in the year, but hey, I have been getting harvest. I just haven't been videoing any of it. Um, but yeah, as always, wherever you are in the world, please stay safe and be practical. Keep yourselves out of harm's way. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.